What's up WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat and by request this is the next installment of Should You Take Blank Six Star Gold. And today uh, we've got someone who requested the two so's we the one. Now we are on the Candy Store account which does mean that he is maxed out in every way. Gear is on there so that's 150% more gem damage. Also, this moment that says it's B tier, but I sure don't have it. I'm hoping it's on the prize wall next month. That would make my life very happy for Zombie Becky and Sammy right there. Uh, multiply gems are increased their strength by 5. Pyro gems do more damage. And I think that's it that impacts this guy here. But I can't take those two things off. Uh, so he's got a bit of a buff beyond what yours might have if you have him. Uh, move set, we're going to run triple purple. We'll take a look at the other moves here in a bit too, but I think this makes the most sense in the six star gold meta. The sky is falling, six MP purple, and all of his moves are double, which I think is hilarious. Choose a three by one to make into pyro gems that will modify all gems above it into multi gems of strength four when broken by you. Then deal damage and make three pyro gems purple. So you just need to get to six MP and it'll load the eight and the nine MP moves. The dynamite drop, deal damage, take 18 multiply gems into purple, then deal damage and doesn't matter because we're not increasing our blue MP there. And then the bites, deal damage, increase the strength of your multis by 5, and deal damage and decrease the damage of all your opponent's gems by 15%. So that's the moveset we're going to start with. Entourage wise, since you only have to get to 6, we've got woods. 4 plus 1 for turn is 5. Santa Hogan is 6. So we got that. We've got Sherry, rare trainer, but this is a rare character. So when those two things correspond, like I don't use Sherry on B tier, free tier, but when it's like SS plus tier, there's some expectation that it's a higher level character. Therefore. And then also Memrock for that additional multi. So you're getting them up by 5, plus you're getting them up by another 5 for the moment. So, on this strap, I've got the 50% gem damage strap, double fury twos, with a 35% all gem damage bonus on the fourth metal. The only thing I really, really, really recommend is the Bubba Ray specs. Whenever you activate a purple move, increase your purple gem damage by 50%. You could do the Piper Plate, but that's 100%, and honestly, there's a lot. No, you can't do the Piper Plate, never mind. Never mind, because it's a 3 by one area. You cannot do the Piper Plate, and you can't add to a 3 by one area. So yeah, I was right. I, I had that in my brain when I was setting it up and just didn't say it there. So let's see how he does on the road. Actually, you know what? I didn't load the road. I need to load the road. Let's go load the road together. I've now said that phrase way too many times in my life, let alone today. <clears throat> I mean today, let alone my life. So let's go up against... Another zombie, Zombie Sammy, my favorite zombie in the game, until, you know, we see what happens in October. It's currently September as I'm recording this one. All right, there we go. Two Sos versus Sammy Zane. Battle for the zombie supremacy. Spoiler, Zombie Sammy Zane's better. <clears throat> but this guy can be pretty good too. So we are going to lay these down right here. You want them to match up to purples on the top rows, not necessarily on the bottom rows, and avoid making a three match. Like if, uh, you know, this gym right here were... Well, you can't see it now, but... Oh, and we cascaded because it fell. That's actually very likely to happen with him. We're going to have to run this again. We're going to have to run it again because look at all these. Look at how all these are gone. Look at how all these are gone. You know what? We can just do it again right now. I, for the sake of fairness, I'll put it right here, and that'll overwrite the ones that we had just so we can see what it would actually have done. Yay, no cascade this time. Uh, you could actually go again since that reloaded itself nicely. That doesn't happen often, but times 14. Now we're going to increase these to times 19, which is scary good. Hooray, plus all his damage is done. I'm not going to risk running it a second time because if I cascade horribly, he's got his uh, sub and then we just can't do anything about that. So 
8 MP dynamite drop. Let's make 18 of the multiply gems, which should be all of them, into purple and see what he hits for here. Yes, yes, and yes. 113 million. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That's a lot. Uh, but we did have a lot of bonuses on him, too, right? 113 million is freaking incredible. But what if you don't have the moment? Uh, what if you don't have the gear? I can't adjust for those fully, but I can take Sherry and Memrock off, which will adjust for one of them, uh, which is the moment, which is what I hope to get in October. That's my only lonely goal, is I hope they put that on the prize wall, because that would be amazing. So, let's take off Sherry. And let's take off Memrock. So we're going in virtually naked with the only thing being the Bubba Ray specs and the gear as the bonuses. But 119 million is, <clears throat> is good. Uh, it, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. In case you didn't know, it, it's very good. All right. So let's put this. Uh, I think right here is going to work. I don't think think we'll cascade hopefully sweet we did not okay so now they're times nine still though and this is going to take them up by five so that's still times 14 that is not bad in the uh slightest whatsoever and then you just hit this very simple move set very easy to run very straightforward let's see what we do what would you do for a klondike bar 77 million not bad not bad at all uh so if you don't have the moment if you don't have the gear gear is probably giving you let's say another seven or eight million ten million tops so that means 67 million if you have nothing else on him if you just really really have him with no specials uh, 67 million is very good, but as you saw, he can get up close to that 120 million mark if you got gear, if you got Sherry, if you've got the moment. So, pretty darn good. Let's look at his other moves just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I mean, when something hits that hard, it's hard to say like, oh, we should have run it something else. But, notice that, you know, this increases multi-gems and, and increases your blue, so... That does technically mean there's a blue move in here that should work, right? Let's see, steal 4 MP from each of your opponent's purple moves. So what that's making you do, let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, I, what would you replace, though? Because you can't replace the sky is falling. That's what creates the multi-gems. I guess you, well, yeah, but then if you, there's no point in using the blue move if you can't have the multi-gems to increase. And you don't have... So, like, those three just go too well together. I don't understand what that is going to do. Um, yeah, I guess you could steal 4 MP from each of your yellow and then deal a bit of bleed damage. Two rows into reinforce, which unless there's a buff on that, two rows of reinforced gems is nothing. Nothing, nothing. Two columns as well. I see that too. Uh, deal damage for every reinforced gem and then make reinforce into yellow. Unless there's a buff on those, that doesn't work too well. 3x2 area to swap into yellow if the opponent generated power gems. You still make them protect. I just don't see uh, any of the rest of these flowing together. But, man, it bothers me. Make 18 multiply gems and then increase your blue MP by 4. That seems to flow with the steel 4 MP from purple. Because if it steals, if it flows into yellow, you don't have a reason for multi-gems and you can't make them. Yeah, I just don't see what that's doing for you. So triple purple... I believe is the way to go. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments section. I'm glad to be. Uh, if he could hit harder, great. But 120 million, that is uh, that is very, very good. So should you take the two sows to six star gold, even without the moment, even without the gear, I say 100% yes. He is very, they, they is, they are very, very good. Uh, so that's it for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments section, like the video, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then send this over to your friend or faction mate who's going, hey, I got the Tussos, maybe next month during Zombie Month they get them, and they're like, is, is, is this still any good? Should I do something with them? 
Here's the answer. Encourage him to watch the whole thing because uh, it really helps us out and we try to be helpful to the community. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Uh.